Hello, I'm going to show you today how to make a rain gauge. Okay, so these are equip pieces of equipment that weather forecasts, forecasters even, or farmers might use to help them measure how much rain we've had recently. Okay, and this will help weather forecasters like predict and see patterns so to know what the weather might be like. So you use their clever knowledge to do that with. Or like farmers need to know how much water their crops have had to know how much more they need to give it, okay? Because obviously the plants need the water. So I'm going to show you how to make one today. It's dead simple, okay? You need to start with a bottle. Now, ideally like a two litre one, but if you've just got like a small Coke bottle, Fanta bottle or something, that will do fine, okay? You need to cut it so you've got the top bit off. And the best way to get a straight line, so we're cutting straight, would be to wrap a bit of card round it, because obviously your ruler won't bend around it. Okay, and with a pen, like mark a line, okay? Because this will help you be able to cut a straight-ish line. See, you can cut it on there. Now I would ask for an adult to help you cut into that because it's quite tricky to cut all the way around. But once you have, as I've done earlier, okay, got your bottle, see that went on there, okay? You need to just go around the top of both parts with some tape. So all I did, cut a bit of tape, Stuck it around the top, folded it over. Okay, this is just in case any sharp bits are there, and it's not going to hurt, hurt or harm you. Okay, now I did say this was dead easy. What you then need to do is get a little bit of gravel or soil. Okay, you only need about that much at the bottom, just so you've got all the wiggly bits out of the way. This is only because you're obviously going to put this outside, so you need some weight in the bottom to stop your rain gauge from falling over. Otherwise you'll start collecting water and then it'll tip and you'll have no idea how much it's rained. So that's not very helpful. Now I'm just gonna move you down so you can see. Now this is where my demonstration falls down because what now I've got this in, okay? Obviously if the rain falls, it will fall through the gaps in the rock. So you need some plasticine, ideally like modeling clay or something that will stop the water going through, okay? Now, all I have is a bit of blue tack. I don't have much. So you're just gonna have to pretend that this does the job. But you might, if you don't have plasticine, it's okay. You might be able to find something else that will stop. Like if you melted old wax crayons or old candles, that would work really well, okay? Because that would stop the water going through. Or even like chocolate, that would stop the water going through, okay? Whatever you use, if it's something creative other than plasticine, let me know, I'm interested to know what you use, okay? Because we've got to be resourceful at this time. But so imagine that this bit of blue tack can spread all the way across the bottom of your bottle, okay? You've got to make sure you push it right up to the sides. Again, just imagine it's going up. See, that's gone all the way across, yeah? Imagine, imagine it has, okay? Push it to the side so no water can get through. Make sure it's as flat as possible on the top. So ideally you want, well, not even ideally, you need for this to work a flat bit of plasticine or whatever you're using across the top, sealed round the edge so no water can get through. Okay, now I told you, you needed to save onto this part and get rid of the lid. Can't even unscrew it. Okay, and that is going to sit on top. I can move back up so you can see. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, because now our water will fall through it, but if this is left outside for too long, likelihood is, especially as it started to get sunnier, the water that you collect will start to evaporate. Okay, now this will allow you to keep as much water as possible because as it turns into vapour, it will hit the top. You, you'll get a tiny bit through the top, but not enough to notice the difference in results. But most of it will go round the hole and then it will come back down again when it yeah, cools. I couldn't think of the word. Right, now, this goes all the way around, remember? Yeah, the blue tack's gone all the way across. You need to know how to measure it, okay? So I have got my ruler here to save you having to stand there all the time and hold it, okay? Get a bit more tape, if you can find the end. And you are going to attach your ruler to it, okay? But you need to do this carefully and accurately as well, otherwise 
you're gonna get skewed results and that'll be pointless. So obviously, my ruler needs to be the right way round, so I need to have the one at the bottom, but it's no use putting it all the way down to the bottom of the cup, bottle even, because your water's not gonna start collecting there, okay? You need to get the zero of your ruler in line with the top bit of whatever you've used to make your seal. So in this case, I would line my zero up with the top of my blue tack. Okay, now remember, I did tell you to make sure you've sealed it to the edges. So if you've used plasticine and pushed it round to the edge a little bit, you need to make sure it's the zero is in line with the actual surface going across of the plasticine, not your like curved up bit round the edge. <coughs> okay, so you need to attach that. Try and get it as accurate as possible. Probably best to go down to eye level so you can really see it. Try and make sure your rule is straight as well. Okay. Now, I told you this was easy because you're done. So I would then go and put that in the garden, wait for it to rain. I might like, if I put it into like the flower beds, Give it a bit of a turn so it kind of sits in the soil a little bit just to give it a bit more stability and then you will start to collect your rain obviously when it rains now to turn this into an investigation you could easily make a record of when it rains okay and then come out and measure it each day ideally at the same time so i might five o'clock might be my checking time to come and see how much it's rained then i'd empty it and put it back for the next day and make a note of it and then over time you could make a bar chart or a line graph line graph would be preferable so you can get those decimals in there because it might not always be bang on one centimeter of rain okay and you can use your rain gauge now if you really want to push the investigation you could actually measure it weekly okay and see what has been the rainiest week whilst we've been off school or maybe even months you could or you could just do it over the whole year if you fancied Ignore the fact that we're off school and just do it for the whole year and see which is the wettest and rainiest month of each year. Okay, but that is your rain gauge and that is how you can measure how much it rains.